hello youtube my name is Tony victor and welcome back to another amazing tutorial so in today's video so i'm going to be showing you this step by step process on how you can plug your background so pay close attention because this is kind of confusing and tricky so let's get started first thing i'm going to do i'm going to duplicate my layer by clicking on ctrl j or just dragging the background layer and put and putting it right here it's going to duplicate my layer for me so the next thing i'm going to do i want to i want to select my background and to do that i will first of all have to select my subject then i'll invert the selection to the background so let me show you how to do that you come to a quick selection right here this is a quick selection and um i'm just going to name this um background copy I'm just going to name this subject so this is my subject subject so you can follow along so this is my subject layer i'm just going to click on select subject so once my subject is selected i'm just going to zoom in to see if the selection is perfect i feel it's perfect but there are some mistakes here so i'm just going to click on my polygonal lasso to, to add this but this parts that are not added so i hold my shift to add so once i click on once i hold shift i just click and start adding these parts that are not selected it doesn't have to be perfect just make a selection of it and just leave it like that okay so after making the selection of the subject remember we are we want to select the um, background and not the subject so to do that I will have to invert this my selection to the background and to invert my selection to the background I'll click on ctrl shift I so once I click on Ctrl Shift, uh, you can see the selection has been inverted to the background. And I'm just going to click on Ctrl J to cut my subject out of the background. Right now, if I turn off my subject layer, you can see it's mainly just the background. My subject is no longer there. So that's the first part of it. So the other part, you come back to your subject layer right here. Make sure you are working on your subject layer right now so you can come back here and make another selection of your subject by clicking on quick selection and select subject like this and add a layer mask or let me just undo that or you can come to your su your subject layer hold control and click on this upper layer this layer one let me just rename this layer to background So I'm going to name it to background. So you come to your subject layer and just hold control and click on your background layer. So once you click on your background layer, it's going to bring back your background selection. And right now, we want just the subject to be selected. So to get just the subject, you have to invert your selection again by clicking on Ctrl Shift I. To invert your selection so once your selection is inverted you can see right now only the subject is selected so like i said this um this is kind of tricky and confusing so you can just watch this video over and over again to get it right um when i started learning how to blow background it took me a while to get this technique so just keep practicing keep watching and you're going to get it eventually so after selecting the subject all you have to do is click on your layer mask so once I click on my layer mask, I've successfully cut out my subject out of the background. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to be working on the background alone. So I'll click on my background layer. I'll just drag it below my subject. I'll just drag it down below my subject like this. Make sure my subject is on top and my background layer is on is below my subject layer. So if I just turn off my subject layer again and turn off my background layer, you can see it's mainly just the background. And I'm going to blow right now. So I'm going to turn them back on and I'm going to blow my background. So to do that, I'll come to my filter, I'll come to my blow, I'll come to my Gaussian blow. And I'll just choose any radius I want. So you can see if I move it to four, just watch what's happening in the background. Is 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 getting blown. So I'll just move it to about 240 so you can see the effect. So this is the effect. So I'll click on OK. As you can see, the background is blurred and it's looking so so cool. Just take a look at the background. 
so this is this is how it was before and this is how it is right now just look at how good the background is right now so if i turn off my subject and turn off my background you can see just the background that's blood this is my background layer that is being blood so once i turn on my subject again and turn on my background layer you can see the image is back to normal so this is how you blow your background in photoshop if you like this video or you learn anything from this video leave a like leave a comment if you are new here hit on that subscribe button so you can get more amazing videos like this in the future i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative